Good morning and welcome to morning devotions with the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. My name is Becky Tibaldi and I will serve as the leader today. If you are new to this service, know that you are welcome to participate fully. We are recording this so others can access it at a time convenient for them. May I have two volunteers? I can read. I'll read. Okay. Thank you, Ed. And the second, was that Jan? Jan? Jan Brendel. Thank you. Let me know if you can't hear me. Okay. Thank you. And I would ask for everyone else to please um, mute themselves. so We won't have a lot of feedback. Lord, take and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All I have and call my own. You have given it all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me. Dear people of God, the first Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection and it came, be, became the custom of the church to prepare for them by a season of penitence and fasting. This season of Lent provided a time which converts to the faith, converts to the faiths who were prepared for holy baptism. It was also a time when those who, because of notorious sins, had been separated from the body of the faithful were reconciled by penitence and forgiveness and restored to the fellowship of the church. Thereby, the whole congregation was put in mind of the message of pardon and absolution set forth in the gospel of our Savior and of the need which all Christians continually have to renew their penitence and faith. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the church, to the observance of a holy Lent, by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word, and to make a right beginning of repentance, and as a mark of our mortal nature, let us now pray before the Lord, our Maker and Redeemer. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be to us a sign of our mortality and penitence, that we rem may remember it is only by your gracious gift we are given everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. O God of love, you are the true son of the world, ever more risen and never going down. We pray you to shine in our hearts and drive away the darkness of sin and the mists of error. We pray that we may this day and all our lives long walk without stumbling in the way you have prepared for us, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God and glory everlasting. Amen. So this after or this morning, I thought it might be interesting for us to reflect a little bit about Lent to, and I have a, a short reading and also a um, piece of artwork that I'd like for us to take a look at. I'm gonna go ahead and put the artwork up now so that we can all look at it and think about it as I'm reading. And just bear with me if I'm not really 
great at getting it up here, but I, I'm going to try. That one, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of fuzzy. Let me try the other, the other one. That one looks a little bit too wobbly. Can you all see that? Or is should I should I get another? Should I try to do a one that's a little bit more crisp? That's fine, Becky. Okay, great. Thank you. So take in what you see here. Um, this is Jesus withdrawing to deserted places to spend time in prayer. Um, the French artist Maurice, and I, I can't read his last name, um, wrote this or, or painted this beautiful picture. I did um, find it in our EFM book. Part of, of Lent, as we know, is self-examination self and prayer, um, as well as penitence and fasting to connect uh, early and continuously with God and to, to really look at what our times, our relationship with, with um, Christ and not just navel gazing, but what, what um, we, can, we can do. How can we become more disciplined uh, and, and faithful and um, how can we, we be grateful for this wonderful gift that Jesus has given us, um, you know, his life? How can we be, how can we express gratitude and, and um, really kind of renew? Are there micro practices that we can put into place that uh, help us examine ourselves, uh, whether it's through fasting or whether it's a, like a contemplative prayer. Um, what, what, uh, what are some of the practices that we've put in place as we're looking at this? We can just talk about them. You can unmute yourselves and, and respond. So what are some of the micro practices you have put into place during our, during our Lent that we've had so far? I look for and appreciate the progress that I've made. In other words, have I seen any results for my efforts? Thank and you. if so, I appreciate the, the help that I got to get there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. For, for me, this this Lent, this uh, time together and our uh, reflections on uh, different stories and our time spent exploring those has been my my main experience of of Lent, reflecting on God's word this year. Well, I. I have to say, just looking at this photo, the painting, um, the orange so stands out to me in the painting. Mm -hmm. And um, that is um, like kind of represents, I have done a lot of art history. Uh, tree of knowledge, like God is there in this wow. orange vast sea and it kind of represents the tree of knowledge and what he's learning just by stowing away and praying by himself. Well, I think that connects us also with the Lent, you know, with, with the practice of, of us additionally stowing away and, and praying. Thank you, that's, that's interesting, I didn't know. 
To me, orange is a color of action. And, Ooh. Um, um, for me, during Lent, it hasn't really been a time of, well, I do pray, but this whole, my whole life seems to be revolve around this Afghan ministry. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's been my Lenten practice is the Afghan ministry. That's been a very active practice too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. very active. Mm -hmm. So we're all experiencing Lent in a different way. This painting <clears throat> just reinforces to me uh, <clears throat> the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can find or I find God through prominently in nature. And this is, it reinforces it. The, the, the beauty of the sea, the rocks, the sand. I don't know if that's sand mm -hmm. uh, that's so orange, or, but it's, it looks sort of sandy. And the, the boat, boat in the background, uh, it just uh, emphasizes that uh, God is always there. And sometimes it's just up to us to see God that surrounds us. Wow. Thanks, Ed. I like that. Thank you. I do, too. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who, who has participated. Um, I'm going to read a very short, a very short, uh, it's not from Genesis, and I know we've been discussing the uh, creation story, but this is from a, a morning meditation that I absolutely love. It's called Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young, and it's short, it's not real long, but as you, as you listen to it and meditate on the picture that you're seeing. Um, when we finish them, we'll, we'll go back. I am calling you to a life of constant communion with me. Basic training includes learning to live above the circumstances, even while interacting on that cluttered plane of life. You yearn for a simplified lifestyle so that your communication with me can be uninterrupted, but I challenge you to relinquish your fantasy of an uncluttered world. Accept each day as it comes and find me in the midst of it all. Talk with me about every aspect of your day, including your feelings. Remember your ultimate goal is not to control or fix everything around you. It is to keep communing with me. A successful day is one in which you have stayed in touch with me, even if many things remain undone at the end of the day. Do not let your to-do list, written or mental, become an idol in directing your life. Instead, ask my spirit to guide you moment by moment. He will keep you close to me. Thessalonians 1, 5, 5, 1, that was based on. Okay, Robert, I think we can return. You have to unshare your screen. Thank you. Loving God, in our faith we pray for reconciliation between the violated and the violent. That we may rest in your peace. For generosity between rich and poor people everywhere. That we may share the abundance of your creation. For the growth of love between broken peoples and nations. That we may shape our common life as your kingdom. For mutual respect between immigrants and insiders. That we may welcome your image in all who come to us. For protection for the weak and the humility for strong. That we may serve others as you serve us in Christ. 
when we have intercessions and thanksgivings. For the Bayless and Peppercorn families this weekend. For the people, the people who are coming in. For Lois, for Maggie and all of them. For Terry and Mike. For Jennifer and for Karen. For right. Oliver. For Oliver, who will be confirmed this weekend. For all the joys and concerns of our hearts. That we may live with gladness and trust. Lord God, almighty and everlasting, Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right <laughs> spirit within us. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out our offenses. Renew a right spirit within me. Wash us through and through from our wickedness and cleanse us from our sins. Renew a right spirit within me. For I know my transgression and sin are ever before me. Renew a right spirit within me. Purge me from my sin and I shall be pure. Wash me, I shall be clean indeed. Renew a right spirit within me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Renew a right spirit within me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The Lord's Prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All I have and call my own, you have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and grace. That is enough for me.